Hey, what's up, everybody? <laughs> Welcome to the Three Way Podcast Show. Yo. I am Los, Season your two. host, Season with the two. most. Episode, Episode two. two. Episode two. <laughs> Public Enemy Fifty Nine. Uh, we got Abigail, aka DNA Gamer Nighty. What's up, everybody? Joining us for this great episode, and we got behind the magic of it all, JRX Four Rex, Magic Man, aka Eli, Mister Magic Man. What's up? You see me? No, you Ooh, I like it. That's a good. That's a good tag. You should use on your choice. Now you see me. <laughs> now you don't. No. Magic Man <laughs> with the magic stick. <laughs> Some people have debated. You got the magic stick. Anyways, uh, uh, it's been a great week. It's been an amazing week. We've got a bunch of news we got to drop down on you guys. Give us your feedback. Please comment, like, share. You know what to do so we can go ahead and uh, interact with you guys. So let's start off with gaming. Pew, 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 pew. Game over. Pew. <laughs> so we saw some more gameplay footage of Cyberpunk 2077. This is from PAX. From PAX. They, they showed, and supposedly I think this is what... Some of the journalists saw in the, I don't know, behind closed doors that the public is just seeing now. Oh, behind the scenes. Yeah. Much. Yeah, but let me just say that shit looked badass. It, it looked, uh, it showed, first of all, it showed different play styles that you can play the game. So the game is open world. You can do whatever the hell you want. Oh, so Including it's kind of like a Fallout kind how of you app- Even better. How you approach situations. So if you want to go into a situation as a brawler, someone who's just busting and gunning, and that's how you want to play, you can do that. Okay. You can put your points into those skills. If you want to be somebody that kind of sneaks and hacks systems and let the, the, you as a hacker, you're fucking up systems, and that's what's defeating your enemies, and that's how you're completing these missions, you can do that. Okay. If you want to, so uh, those are the two play styles they showed, and they tease more, they so tease there's more. more different ways you can approach the game. All right, so how, how would you approach it? What That's a be? good question. Um, how would you approach it? I kind of always like the long distance guy, like the arrow. I've always been that like archer motherfucker. Uh, I wouldn't mind being like a, maybe like a gun specialist or okay. something like that. Maybe not brawling. Uh, but maybe, uh, you know, a bomb specialist, like where I'm planting bombs and I'm just blowing shit up. That'd be cool. I don't know. Okay. Demolitionist? Demolitionist, yes. Okay. Uh, All right, jerks, what would you be? Uh, I, How would you, well, uh, correction, what would be your approach? Like, what would you uh, I'd probably be more gun-ho about it. I'd just okay. go in there. So you I'm, I'm, I'm not really into the Guns sneaky blazing. stuff unless it's like Metal Gear. I, okay. al- I also would be interested in like the hacking part of it. Like, I yeah, really I never, think... I never get into a gunfight because I'm hacking Everything like I, that's what I would do. I'd be hacking. Yeah, everywhere. I'd yeah. be finding out the cheese man everywhere. Yeah, right. Like, like getting down. all the intel. Getting all the intel. Who knows what yeah. other play styles they got? Because that was just two of that they presented. Yeah, exactly. In more. the quick clip, uh, they showed one of the areas called Pacif- Pacifica. I don't know, but it's no. like a rundown. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's like a rundown part of the city. Uh, and now th- that's all they focused on was that one part of the city. So imagine how many other parts of the city they had. Uh, they also went into showed some of the customer uh, customization, customer uh, character. <laughs> Sorry, I just got back from work. Uh, character customization, uh, and that looked pretty badass too. Like it is so deep, you can you can customize that character however you want. Okay. Um, female, male, and different styles and those skill points you can customize like it's really it looks deep so and i'm excited for it all right so then your your gamer what what would be the customizations you would get would it be futuristic would it be i would do i don't know man i'll probably do some crazy robot looking thing i don't know to be honest I, i have no idea sometimes i like making female characters not not very often but i think for Cyberpunk, I might. You would do a female? Oh, well, they're saying so. that they're, they're not doing genders. They said they're going to change that to But be, they, show, they showed uh, it on the... the no, but they're, what they're saying is that they're going to change it. They're going to make it look like just neutral, and then yeah. you can go from there. How oh, you okay. Branch okay out so. to? Well, I mean, whatever. Uh, but yeah, are you hyped for that? Or? I am hyped. I think I would make it look as futuristic as possible. Like, droid. It's like, uh, <laughs> spring 2020, I, I right? I do that. Uh, April, yeah. April, okay. Yeah. It's not that, f- I mean, we got a, 
You know? Yeah, a couple of months left. The month eight eight months gone by so fast. Yeah, April 16, 2020. Yeah, eight yeah, months so go by fast now. What do you think, Jerks? What do you think of the trailer? Oh, I can't wait. It looks fun. I'm definitely going to play it. I'm probably going to get it on the Xbox. So. I, didn't get, I didn't get to ask you, Jerks. What kind hmm? of player would you modify? Like, what, you what did. You said guns. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Just, yeah. No, but he said gung-ho, but I said, how would you customize your character? Oh, like, uh, pretty much how the character looked like in the trailer. I mean, I'm not, I'm not really too into that. Oh, so you would stick to like how, yeah, I really don't how care it was about released? That. Yeah. Okay, so you keep it basic. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Would so, you be like Lowe's? Would you do a, a boy or girl? Or would you do? I don't know. We'll would you see do what a happens. Shim? Just, just like you do just a like yourself, gender neutral. Well, yeah, because you're supposed to like also like create a a background for yourself too. Like they'll ask you questions and then like they'll create like a history for you. So whenever you're playing the game, like uh, when you go through the story and like you know whenever it gives you choices of what to talk about, like yeah. based on what you picked on your history. Uh, like that will present itself there in, okay. in the story itself. Uh, but yeah, Cyberpunk looks pretty cool. Uh, tell us if you guys are excited. I'm excited about I'm excited it. I'm excited for sure. Gonna get it for sure on the Xbox One X. Mm-hmm. 4K. It's just Absolutely. around the corner. Woo! It's just around the corner. Yeah, just around the corner. Um, and speaking of, you know, release dates, we just had some big releases uh, this past week. Uh, now, they aren't big you know, names being released, but uh, they have received great reviews. We're going to start off with Control. Now, Control is a game made by Remedy, the same people who made uh, Quantum Break for Xbox. It was an Xbox exclusive like four years ago. So now they're popping out with Control. Uh, The point is supposedly that there's like this Federal Bureau of Control, whatever, that... It's like a governmental uh, department that is in charge of keeping paranormal activity like away from the public. Yeah. Oh, so and so you like... join as the character, you're joining the Federal Bureau of Control. Oh, wow. And now I don't know too much. I haven't played the game, but it's received a lot of solid reviews. Yeah, it's um, a lot of praise. You have like supposedly you're one of these people with power and you, you end up becoming the the department head, I don't know how, I don't know, I don't know, and you are some other you're dimensional... Managing, you're managing this whole division, I guess. Yes, yes, and uh, now, and you're trying to defeat these enemies that show up into, and, and trying to, yeah, I don't know, but people are talking good stuff about it, I'm hearing the story is kind of like, yeah, a little far out, but the gameplay's fun, uh, the story's interesting, and first person uh, uh, action game, oh, not first person, third person third action person, game, yeah. Uh, and yeah, like a single player kind of ten hour game that you could kind of run through. Uh, a lot of people have been giving it a uh, good, good uh, talking good stuff about it. What do you oh. think, Jerks? Uh, you I want to play. Make your own power. Yeah, no, I don't know if you can make your own power. Uh, yeah, that's what I'm saying. It's like are well, they what you, you can do is like you you have different powers and you can decide which ones to power up. Ah, uh, okay. And, like, you can add, like, uh, you can, uh, what's the word I'm looking for? Like, mod it. You can uh, mod okay. your, your skills yeah, yeah, to yeah. kind of fit how you want to play. Yeah. Now, it, it isn't, like, a whole selection of 20 different powers. You right. have, like, five powers, but you can mod them specifically. And choose which ones yeah, to play. Yeah, yeah. Oh, okay. That, that okay. Yeah, yeah. So, there is some customization that there. That is very interesting. Like, and, and by paranormal, do you mean, like, um, different creatures and stuff, like from different dimensions. Or I think it's different dimensions, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, that's what I like think that. too. Something because... like that, and you, I don't know. I don't know too much about it, but it no, looks it interesting. Really exciting. Uh, you know, yeah, maybe wait for. I, I want to check it out, but I'm gonna wait for it too, because a, wa- I mean, a price drive. That's yeah, because for me, single player games, I don't like wasting that much money on them unless it's like something I have to play right yeah, away. Yeah, because you're only gonna run it through once, and then uh, you're kind of like, yeah, yeah, I'm done. Yeah, yeah, but. <laughs> um, Oh, uh, another game that also came out this this week that's getting really good reviews is Astral Chain, made by Platinum. Uh, Platinum same games. people who make Bayonetta. Uh, I would be interested in that. Yeah, so they came out with Astral Chain, very stylish action game, also third person, exclusively exclusive on Switch. Exclusive to the Nintendo Switch. Yeah. Oh. So you can only get it on the Switch. So people are hating about that. Yeah. But you know, well, uh, isn't Nintendo... that the same thing with Bayonetta as well? Like, no. yeah, oh, it's now only on Switch to... because Nintendo is uh, Platinum is not a Nintendo studio, but Nintendo has funded them. So it's like partnered and, up with. Yeah, them. there it's a partnership because Nintendo is giving them money. Platinum is making them badass games. It's a win-win situation yeah. for both. 
uh, when Bayonetta uh, 2 was not going to happen because Platinum didn't have the money, Nintendo came in and saved them. And, and Bayonetta 2 ended up getting made, and it, it came out exclusively for the Wii U uh, back then. Or the uh, DS. I think you could yeah. buy it for the DS. No, no, no. For, no. It's not even only the... Wii U, and then it came out for the Switch. But uh, so Nintendo saved Platinum and Bayonetta. And so Platinum is just returning the favor now, creating a new IP for them. Uh, but I'm hearing a lot of good things about uh, Astral Chain. Uh, usually Platinum makes really combo... Uh, like focus video games where you gotta hit this combo correctly, this button. So it's correct. all about like heavily fighting. Yeah, it's a but with Astral Chain, supposedly they they simplified it big time. So you're still doing these combos, but it's not as difficult to complete. But it looks so much stylish. There's a lot of anime influence. Yeah, because no lie, Bane, it kind of reminded me of Castlevania. Castlevania was heavily like combo driven too. Yeah, maybe like the newer ones, the 3D ones, but uh, no, like uh, if anything, Bayonetta reminds me of like Devil May Cry. Oh, okay. Yeah, like that kind of Capcom game, but uh, no. Uh, I mean, they also did uh, Near Automata. Oh, which is another, which was a big hit, uh, yeah. and came out for all the all the systems except Nintendo, but uh, and there's talks about a sequel for that one, but yeah. uh. Uh, yeah, uh, Astral Chain, very combo looking, anime inspired. It has like a sure. anime, anime intro. Feel. It has an anime intro. When you're doing the moves, it looks super anime. Like, uh, but the art style is really cool. Uh, that one is one that I may have to get because it looks pretty good. <laughs> it looks pretty entertaining. And I hear their story is also not that great, but you know, you it, it's good enough for you to the stick around. The gameplay makes up for the, the story. Exactly. Okay. The gameplay is so much fun and. You, supposedly, you have these, like, uh, demons, de- 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 demons, demons, yeah, that are, like, these, these, uh, creatures you control, that, that's, they, they're chained to you, the whole astral chain, and that, that you control them, and that's how you perform combos, and there's different kind of, uh, uh demons that you can control. Oh, even Yeah, better. there's not just one that you customize. No, there's different ones that you can have and customize. And that fight with you. Yes. Hmm. Yeah. So, kind of weird, uh, but also rece- receiving uh, raving reviews. Uh, that one is one I might have to pick up. Tell us what you guys think. Have you played these games? Have you not? Are you going to pick them up? Are you not? Are you not interested? <laughs> this is the beginning uh, of the fall. I'll be right back. I'm going to go get JP. Just yeah, this here. is the oh, beginning uh, of the fall uh, lineup that's coming in Okay. Uh, for the rest of the ye- uh, year. Right, Fall is kicking off, which is when you're getting all these big-time games. We have Gears of War coming out this week. I'm excited for Gears of War. Uh, you uh, and then boom, boom. We're we're gonna start receiving release, big release, hits. Release, yeah. right before the holidays. Exactly, exactly. So, so yeah, this that's... is a, a time, the best time of the year for a gamer, because you know. Uh, so, so starting September, like that's it. Oh like, yeah, oh yeah. Age. By the end of September, I'm gonna have my hands on Link's Awakening. Uh, I'm gonna have my hands on uh, a bunch of other games. I'm excited. Uh, but yeah, that's uh it for that. Uh, oh, and we got the fourth <laughs> co-host here. Yeah. Arriving uh, fashionably late, JP. Yeah, sorry, I had to go to the doctor. <clears throat> AKA. Oh, no, the, the mic is on the other side. Yeah. yeah. AKA. Linkster 101. Linkster 101, that's right. <laughs> <laughs> it's, been so long. it's been so long. Linkster yeah, 101. Sorry, guys. Don't worry, I'm not contagious. That's the good news. You were just in a group uh, around a group of people yesterday. And you didn't I know he wasn't that. worried about that. Yeah, nah, but <laughs> all of a sudden today. <laughs> Anyways, um, well, you made it just in time. We're yeah, gonna talk about so we are about talking about a new Resident Evil game <laughs> being teased. Yeah, uh, but what? it looks like it's Outbreak. <laughs> yeah, which is that I hope so. I hope so. PlayStation. Some, Three PlayStation Two. PlayStation Two. Okay. okay, online game that uh, you know Capcom released. No one really played it. it was no one really PS2. cared for it. Uh, no one cared for it. It wasn't really great gameplay wise. But maybe this one is like a revamp. Exactly, and and Capcom I trust because they've done nothing but hits after hits. Oh, that's yeah, true. but they're. I they're, feel like if they do an online, re- imagine they're, that they're bound on, for man. one failure. Nah, I'm not excited we're for it. Escaping from the Resident nah, Evil outbreak. I'm okay with it. Uh, you and me online. Stick to the, nah, stick to the on, story. Uh, they, I mean, they, really, really, I don't blame Capcom for doing this because 
They already knocked it out of the park. They're gonna win Game of the Year with Resident Evil Two. Uh, okay. So Hands far, down. I agree. To be honest, Hands down. So yeah. I mean, they're bound for one failure. I think this will be the failure. They shouldn't touch Resident Evil unless it's going back to the story, or at least go back make Resident Evil Eight. And they, I feel um, like they are. Look, they're making. I, I for sure feel that they're remaking um three. Uh, they're <coughs> making three, and I think they're gonna pop out with uh, Code Veronica. I don't think they're gonna pop out with Cody. That's yeah. enough remakes, man. Give me some new stuff. Well, they, you're getting it. I you're want that. that new I Resident want Evil that. Outbreak. I want that outbreak, yeah. bro. Yeah, yeah. They, they, I, want, I want to see what I this want game that, can do. That, that Resident Evil Outbreak on PS2 was actually really fucking good. And it was a game that was like not really. Do you really think it was that it, good? It was good because it wasn't even to the point where like. It was to the point where it was online, and at that time, yeah. that was rare too. Exactly, and like, was that game first, was one ahead of, the first of its time. To do that. It was yeah. ahead of its time, and the, like I our fucking online loved it. capabilities back then were trash. No yeah. one really, I didn't have internet back then. <laughs> uh, we definitely didn't. <laughs> so like hmm. they were ahead of their time, and I feel like take that same concept, you know, multiplayer. Now everybody's online. Now you with know, the new we, RE engine, like, RE engine. You got man, the bad I keep promoting that yeah. RE engine like a motherfucker, man. Hey, hey, but it looks don't great. Talk shit about the RE engine, man. man they barely do great. shit. Is legit. They barely do shit. Uh, but <laughs> no, I'm excited for it. I, I, <coughs> I, I feel like it's a, it's for sure a 2020 game, but it's before the new consoles. So I think it's coming out maybe summer. I don't 2020. think I, I don't expect a lot of new video games outside of the ones that have already been mentioned to come out. There right now, you can tell with Xbox and PlayStation, they're just focusing on the next gen. Yeah, but them, Capcom doesn't care. Capcom's like, there's 100 million PS4s out there. There's 40 million Xboxes out there. There's 30 million Switches out there. Well, not on the uh. Switch. I'm sorry. <laughs> but <laughs> let's get let's get a new game out there, and all, there's already a base for it. People they're are gonna just buy it. They're yeah. just trying to sell. Yeah, I, I guess. I, I don't know about the outbreak. I'm not. I'm not. I've never been a fan of the uh, outside if of the there's story. There's a beta. We're playing it, right? <laughs> a free open beta. I guess. Play, right? I guess I'll, I'll I usually just stick to my normal Resident Evil. I it's never really buy out. outside of it. Right. Yeah, I mean, I don't really blame JP are you gonna, either. Or, what uh, game system are you gonna play it on? Uh, if Jerks gets it, Xbox One. Yeah, for sure. Okay. Uh, but yeah, no, no, no. Just going back to what JP was saying, I don't blame him for like yeah. uh, dabbling it because uh, Resident Evil series has come out with like shitty, shitty side, fucking side games. games. Like, yeah, I and it. It, you're right. Uh, and like, uh, there was that one where it was like a first person, no, like a third person over the back, uh, like a shooter, Umbrella Corpse. Yeah, it was Umbrella fucking okay, yeah, terrible. That's trash. Yeah, that's terrible. I don't blame him for it, but I don't know. Uh, right now, like Capcom, right now, Capcom, Capcom has been killing it. Boom, boom, they have. Boom. I'll give them that. They I have been doing really them. well. I want to see boom, what they boom, got boom, next. Boom. Yeah. So let's go. Yeah, no, I'm, I'm excited for it. I want to hear more. All we got is some, some leaked screenshots, right? Yeah, yeah. Right, when are they going to talk about it more? Uh, it's the Tokyo Game Show. When does that oh. start? Oh, damn. Um, Tokyo Game Show. TGS. Is, TGS 2019 is going to be it's September 11th through the oh. 13th. Oh. Hey, and, uh, Isn't that football? Nintendo, <laughs> Nintendo also has a showcase uh, uh, direct going on that. That uh, TGS is that already been announced? I believe I think it's so. been announced. Oh, no, 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 no it hasn't been announced. I think there's rumors. There's I may rumors, be wrong, yeah. but I heard something about uh, Nintendo doing uh, stuff. I wouldn't be surprised because yeah, Nintendo's it's Tokyo to to go talk about their. I wish I could go their holiday stuff, yeah. and then maybe talk about their early. Hey, Terrace House, holla at me, dog. I see y'all doing that Tokyo. And- <laughs> Let's do it. <laughs> holla yeah. at me, dog. I'm surprised yeah. that he's like this show that you actually recommended because wasn't Carlos watching it? Too? Yeah, he was watching it first. first. I I I so is it like I, I showed you. It's because <laughs> like it's because I showed you about Terrence. It's because that dude Takachan. I was I was rooting for him. Takachan. 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 To pull right. out. To pull some house, but he didn't. We're going on house. a different thread, but uh, that was gaming. So we're gonna move on to sports. <sighs> Space sports. Touchdown! It's a home run. Go! I'm not feeling. I'm not feeling it today. Sports. Um. All right. Big news. Going around. It's not big news. It's stupid motherfucking dumbass. Huge <laughs> news. Huge. Stupid um, news. Huge. We huge. so NFL, right? The, the the season starts on Thursday. It's right here. Yeah, this Thursday, correct? And we got teams doing stupid moves. ass fucking moves. <laughs> making their doing stupid ass moves. fucking moves. So the Texans <laughs> have traded uh, uh, Clowney to the Seahawks for a third round pick. Uh, what was, uh, 
What was the a, other a guys? Bag of peanuts. Look, look. Let's just let's just call it what it is. So, uh, Texans have a dumbass head coach. They've had that dumbass for like five years. Uh, that dumbass became a general manager. So not only is he a dumbass coach, he's a dumbass general manager. So basically, Jadavian Clowney was on his franchise tender. He did not sign his franchise tender, and we were going to trade him to tender. Miami. Uh, originally, we were trying to get a left tackle, which was actually pretty smart on that dumbass's behalf. <laughs> uh, but the dumbass is still a dumbass. Giving so what he, do. yeah, yeah, so he's a dumbass. So these are the players. Uh, it was a third well, uh, pick. So, so they traded to Seattle because that's what Jadavian Clowney wanted to go. So they traded uh, Jadavian Clowney for Seattle for two linebackers and a third round pick. But Kerry is mean go. I know who that fool is, and I know who that fool is. Sack of potatoes. So, sack of potatoes, and so this dumbass coach, instead of beefing up your offensive line to protect Deshaun Watson, you pretty much just trade away, uh, I wouldn't say your best defensive tackle or linebacker. I would say your, best. your oh, average, because I don't think Jimmy Clown is all that. Never thought he was all second that. Best. He was injury prone. He was very best. good at run blocking. He's second best. Uh, I mean, run stopping. He's not the best. Um, He's been on the field he only season. had like average sacks, six to eight sacks a season. Probably the top ten ever. Um, not impressive to me, in my opinion. Yeah. But he was our best run stopper. I'll give him that. Um, and uh, they gave it for honestly. I don't even put this just on Bill O'Brien. If you, if what's the owner? It, no, I'm, uh, yeah, the ownership. The ownership. At this true. point, the way the Texans have been run since day one, it's not just the it's people so hiring, bad. It's the people doing the hiring. It's so bad. Like all the Texans fans are like, "What the fuck?" Like this season's done. Like that's the way I see it. Like this season's done. Bill O'Brien's a dumbass coach. He's gonna run the ball three straight times like a dumb fuck that he is. Uh, with no running back, they just traded for Carlos Hyde. Uh, on my way over here, I got the alert. They traded for Carlos Hyde. Um, they yeah. have no offensive line. They got Khalil. What's it? What's his name? Uh, Matt Khalil. Khalil Matt. Khalil no. Matt. Khalil Matt. No, it's Matt Khalil. Matt Khalil. Yeah, um, Matt Khalil. Sorry ass left tackle. That left tackle. <laughs> So who the fuck's going to protect Deshaun Watson? I have no idea. Jesus. Bill O'Brien thinks Jesus is. Jesus. Yeah, so much of a dumbass he is. And I, don't get it wrong, guys. Like, I don't hate Bill O'Brien as a person. Like, as a person, I don't know how Just he as is. A human but being. as a coach, he's a dumb fuck. GM, my man. left fucking, <laughs> my pinky toe knows more fucking football than that moron. And uh, apparently, hopefully this is his last year, because I think this is the last year before his contract. So basically, there's really no hope that I see, in my personal opinion. Um, we have no offensive line. We still, in the preseason, we were getting... Deshaun Watson was running for his life. Um, <laughs> so I have no idea what... And then, like... I actually did see that game. Uh, it, it, was, it was bad. I was watching it was Cowboys. bad. Like, the Cowboys were like... No one was touching them. The was Cowboys. Like, they, were, they were just running right through. Yeah. They had to literally pull him out because he was that, getting hit. I was doing that Chrissy Teigen meme. I was like... Yeah, so... Uh-uh. <laughs> so, basically, that's what happened. Oh, that's the gosh. major move right now in the NFL. Texans, I don't even know... Well, the other if one, too, the is playoffs. that the Bills cut LaShawn McCoy. Yeah, and the Texans are rumored to be in talks, but we got Carlos Hyde. So I mean, you might as well try to get him, too, if you can. Also, the Cowboys are in talks, supposedly, with what LaShawn. Zeke Elliott? Oh, yeah. Uh, yeah Zeke those, still, those have started up on. again uh, with yeah. Zeke, but it's still not signed as of the moment of this recording. No. Uh, They'll have something done. Uh, 49ers put that one guy on the I, I IR. Huh? What? What, what? 49ers put someone on Who? IR. Who? I forget the name. Uh, anyways, but yeah, a uh, <laughs> lot, of, lot of last yeah. minute. The cuts to get the teams down to 53 have been done. Um, yeah. The majority. I mean, really, really, we're just we're just in the full single things. I think Thursday it's uh, Green Bay versus yeah. uh, the Bears, which actually is going to be a really good game, I think. Yeah, so what do you uh, think? Uh, <laughs> so it's going to be uh, Green Bay at Chicago. Yeah. It's I a think Thursday night game. I think Chicago wins that game. Uh, Chicago wins? I think Chicago wins. Who do you think wins, Abigail? <laughs> I'm going to go ahead and go with Green Bay. You know nothing. Hold on. <laughs> hey, last time I was picking it, my teams were winning. Hey, uh, who's Chicago's quarterback? A Trubisky. Oh, my God. Okay, yeah, I'm going Green Bay. Okay, thank uh, you. I'm, I'm going with Chicago. Chicago has one of the best defenses in the NFL. They showed it last year with Aaron Rodgers, and they hurt his bitch ass. So Aaron Rodgers doesn't really have wide receivers, doesn't have an offensive line. Uh, he has no running back. I don't even think he has much of a defense. So I think it's pretty much Bears. Um, all right. Now, moving on from NFL, mm -hmm. we got uh, the Rockets extending uh, Gordon on an extension. A lot of Houston deal. news, man. A lot of Houston news. That's a good thing, I guess. I like Eric Gordon. I like him coming off the bench. Uh, I just don't see what they're going to do with the black holes that they have on their team, which is James Harden and uh, – 
uh, Westbrook. Westbrook. Like, it's a downer, man. Like, fuck it. It's a downer today. Like, they, they, this should be a happy occasion because Eric Gordon is a great player coming off the bench. He's done well for us so far. He always shows up in the playoffs. But we got yeah. two black holes um, I think sucking up the ball. Well and uh, I don't know what the fuck they're going to do with that. Now, I, think, I hope it comes out great. I think they're going to play uh, well together. Uh, my thing is, how could Oklahoma, having three, like, MVPs, on their squad, at at one point, lose them, lose all. them all. But that's that's general manager. Like you let you you let James Harden go because he had one bad playoff run. No, not even because they didn't want to pay him either. Yeah, pay, he was he was off the pay bench. Pay the man. He, he was, was off, off the bench. bench. You pay pay him. the man. And they had and they had Westbrook. <laughs> they, and they, they paid. Had, they uh, paid Durant. Serge. Ibaka. I didn't win him a championship. Hey, and then uh, and then they paid Serge Ibaka instead of James and Harden. Then, yeah. <clears throat> Fucking morons. Then, yeah, idiots. And then they want to they they can't keep Durant. Because they couldn't win a championship. No, because and they Westbrook, had the black hole. The black hole was sucking like, up all the ball. It's ridiculous, and, man. You and had like, three all stars, and you couldn't hold on to them. If I'm Oklahoma, if I'm a fan for that team, I'd be, be embarrassed. Pissed. I'd yep. be fucking pissed. Super embarrassed. embarrassed. It's just trash. I, uh, Eric Gordon deserves his signing. He's done well uh, so ever since he came with us. He took that bench player role uh, mentality, six man, and he's been great. Um, he's been great in the playoffs. I have no complaints on Eric Gordon. Defensively and offensively, he showed up. Uh, the only person that disappeared was pretty much James Harden. Yeah. Um, so, I don't know. You know, Black Hole, son. <laughs> Won't you All right. Come? Well, oh, Lord Jesus, have mercy. we're going to go on from uh, sports and move on to <laughs> pop culture. Pop. 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 Culture. Uh, so, there's been a lot of news. Uh, D23 2019 just happened. Monopoly, guys. And there was Monopoly. A, there was a lot of shows. And That's the empire right there, dog. A lot of that is the empire. That is the empire. A lot of uh, movies. So. They're like, we shall release Moonwalker for Marvel and you. No, is it Moon Knight? Moonlight. Moonlight, and you will like it. And people are like, point, yes, we're like, going to pay. And me too. Like, I'm like, I'm going to pay too. Yeah, well, did point, you see that like, too? That, <laughs> that uh, uh, Disney is offering a three-year thing for their yeah. Disney Plus, but it's $4 a month if you do the three years. It's the mm. three years. Yeah, and but I'd like rather pay the twelve yeah. ninety nine and get ESPN Plus. The bundle? Hulu, yeah, the bundle. And, yeah. yeah. I didn't check if they were offering a discount on the bundle. No, I just, no I just they're not. If you buy the three-year deal, it's only Disney Plus. Yeah. If you get the uh, if you get the bundle, that's you oh, have yeah. you're paying that money. So they pretty much released. They said they're gonna have Moon Knight. Uh, what's that guy? Uh, John John Snow is going to play the 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 Moon Guy. Oh, Kit no. Harrington. No, 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 no. Is he gonna play the Moon Keith, Knight character? No, he's playing a different character in the Eternals. Yeah, he's oh, okay. in the Eternals. Kit well, Harrington is gonna be yeah. in the Eternals. Yeah. Yeah. Yes, he he's gonna play some uh, some like I don't know if he's a hero, but he's like a character that wields a sword. And he's like a regular person, but mm-hmm. whenever he uses the sword's power, like it kind of drains him of his life. So, oh. so, so he's playing Jon Snow. And yeah, he's playing Jon Snow. Snow yeah. Yeah. Okay. Uh, <laughs> and then uh, they're gonna release, which I think is is an uh, uh, irrelevant character, but I guess they're gonna release is, is She Hulk. I don't really care. Yeah, about cool. She Hulk as well. Uh, yeah. She Hulk's cool. Uh, are you relevant? I, I want to see it. I want to say it's just, was, it's it a TV. Ne- was it a necessity? No. no. It's a TV show. Well, they got to they got to make shows for this platform. And they they have they, no choice they're but gonna to release uh the uh, Scarlet, what's the name? What's her name? Scarlet uh what's that? Scarlet Witch? Scarlet Witch and, yeah. and the Moron WandaVision? WandaVision? Yeah, yeah I already it's, discussed it's it. Trash. Like, it's like eh. uh they're going to also release uh Captain Marvel and push the agenda there. No, what I like yeah. is uh Miss Marvel. The yeah. first oh, Miss Marvel is going to be there too. Muslim? Yeah. Hero? Yeah. I don't know too much about that. You know what? You know, cool. you know the first. Uh, so Miss Marvel is this previously to Captain Marvel. No, no. there's two different characters. It's already established oh in the God. comics. I'm so telling you, it's there's just Captain Marvel, and then, then there's, there's a Miss. They're Marvel just game. they're just pushing okay. agendas. But, but it's uh, in the comics. you know what I do like though is that they're gonna do a weekly release, not like all together release. Like they I do agree. With Netflix. I like Netflix better. At least the whole damn thing. Nah, no, I agree. I, I like the fact they're gonna do it weekly. That way, I have more time to catch up. Especially if I don't have like the time of day to do yeah, watch that, everything. And that part yeah, I do yeah. agree with you, but in some And then I don't I'm want like, somebody <coughs> JP yeah, ruining stuff hey. but spoilers. Hey. Yeah, that's true. <laughs> hey, if I can find the time, <laughs> you know, I can find the time. Yeah, if you don't watch a show that just got released on Netflix the same day Twitter, next Facebook. Day you're seeing it, yeah, spoilers, you'll see it everywhere. Don't get on, on social media. Don't get on social media. Yeah. So what's that? <laughs> well, now they don't have a choice. <laughs> now you gotta watch every uh, week on Disney. Uh, Disney is just becoming like the empire. Is um, the deal good? 
if you want to be stuck with them for three years, paying like less than five dollars, then yeah, go yeah, for I it. think so. And you nah, get, un- get and, and this guys, go get Crunchyroll. You're unlimited access Crunchyroll's to all the better. Disney movies. The Marvel yeah, the Marvel movies. movies. And, and they're, they're going to come out with that, the whole Falcon and Winter Soldier. It's not even Captain Falcon anymore. It's just like Falcon uh, and the Winter yeah, Soldier. Yeah, it's just like... So he came out and he was like, I'm not well, going to I'm not going to do Captain like, Falcon. You, you don't have to watch this. They the best part is Captain that Falcon. Captain Falcon Disney, is a Disney's totally Monopoly person. has so much like... Content. Content that like you don't even have to watch that. And the worst part about it is Spider-Man's not even on there. Sure. Well... The Marvel ones, They're right? still working on that. I hope so. They that so. actually yeah. brings us to our, our yeah. next topic, <laughs> yeah. which is the, the talks of... Supposedly, um, the talks between Sony and Disney and Marvel have... Resumed. Resumed. Have started up again? Yeah, yeah here, let me, let me... Do you have any hope? I mean, look, Sony's a bitch. Uh, okay. Uh, so, no, I, I, it's I, not I, even I, Sony this time. It's Disney No, I, honestly, I think it's Sony because... I see Disney's I, point. Like I mentioned to you guys in the previous podcast, Sony has done nothing with Spider-Man. Nothing. Exactly. Nothing at all. So why are you even bitching? If you're getting income from someone else promoting, pushing, writing, and presenting fucking Spider-Man, and you're just sitting there like, oh, I got the deal, so I get this amount. Like, shut the fuck up and just take it. Uh, I honestly think um, uh, Sony's just like Fox. Fox did nothing with X-Men. Um, I'm glad X-Men is away from Fox. Uh, the only thing Fox did good was Deadpool, and that was they were forced to. Um, I, I think Sony just should just give up the rights to Spider Man. And even though I don't like the direction that Disney chose to go with Spider Man really? in his last movie, like oh look, I'm Spider Man for everybody, like I, it was just stupid. Um, because Spider Man's not like that. Spider Man's more reserved. He wants to protect his family, his identity. Uh, but anyway, uh. I hope it goes through just for the fact that Spider-Man deserves to be with all the other Marvel characters since Spider-Man yeah, is probably one of yeah, the main iconic, Marvel characters yeah, ever. Yeah, he's an iconic I Avenger. I mean, they already did it to where <coughs> they they pg 13 Venom so they can introduce Marvel Spider-Man into that world to why are you going to go back? I mean, I don't know. Last week I was talking about this too. I was like, you put so much into Spider-Man, especially with that last movie where you pretty much did it, uh, you ended it like Iron Man 1. It's like... If you're really going to do that, there's no way you're not going to make another yeah, video for like, a continuation of that. And that's just stupid. They should have never done it that way either. I don't, I like know, I don't know why they're... My they're, thing like, was... Like I said, it's my, a new phase. They're going to make... Because in this aspect, they're smart. Is, obviously, there's like mm-hmm. contracts and negotiations. Like, was Sony not aware that this is what, was, no, what, what Disney was what, planning? What thing, like, no, no, no. Aware. Of course not. I mean, no, no. What happened too is that... They're saying that Kevin Feige is having more like uh, put on him now that they have Fox and they have uh, X Men, Fantastic Four, uh, Deadpool. They have all these new uh, 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 like characters they need to work with in the MCU. Like they're like, well, we're gonna have to take away Feige for you, but we're willing to put in like more money up front to produce these movies, make them happen. But we want more of the cut in the end, of course, you know, to make up the ends meet. But in some ways, isn't that fair? That's what I'm saying. It sounds fair, but because of the numbers, the way it, like it was presented, where it was like Sony wants, I mean Disney wants fifty fifty. Yeah. Like it makes it look bad. Yeah. But if when you go into the details, it's kind of like okay, I see what you're trying to do. I I know, I know what you're trying to say. Like, I mean, in the last year, Disney made like four billion dollars. Like they're not hurting. They're, they're just not trying hurting. to get. No. They're just trying to do it right. If anything, I see what they're doing too, where they're like, well, we just want Spider Man. Because their movies, you can see the effort that goes. <laughs> no into them. B- bullshit. Because it's, Venom, it's, there's no effort in Venom, it, and Venom. No, I'm talking about th- Disney. No, oh. not. No, not that that Sony. Venom is, is is like pretty much just Sony. Man, I don't know. I I, I feel like if if they do come to a deal. I, 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 which is smart on Disney. They're just gonna push Spider Man to be the next part of Phase Two, which is like he's gonna be the face. I mean, which, we, yeah. we still which have, I'm glad because they shouldn't make Captain more, Marvel the face. We still have one more Spider Man because that's still in the contract. But they said if nothing changes as far as like the negotiations don't continue and it's over, then it's gonna be a whole different type of Spider Man. leaving. Yeah. Who knows? We'll see. I think that deal too. gets done. Or too much money on the table. Later, Disney yeah. Disney's gonna buy yeah. Spider Man movie rights back. <laughs> I mean, I mean like, it's not like, like they don't have the money. They're not hurting, so. <laughs> um, now, uh, last thing we're talking about, pretty cool. We're searching over to the DC side of things. Uh, the new Joker trailer was revealed. <laughs> okay. Uh, Joaquin Phoenix. Joaquin. Joaquin. Uh, <laughs> and his interpretation of the Joker from being a, you know, guy, normal guy with mental issues to becoming the Joker. They kind of showed that in the trailer. Mm-hmm. I liked it. I'm excited for I liked this. It. 
reviews are starting yeah. to come out for it, and I'm like seeing. It. I just saw a ten from IGN, so yeah. I'm excited to go see. I wouldn't what the trust IGN. About. IGN put Resident Evil Seven at, at, um, as a level seven. But, uh, already. All right, I trust them. Okay, so what do you think, Abby? I liked it. It's something different, mm-hmm. and I think. Yeah, no I doubt. I mean, okay, it's like either you want. Joaquin, or you want what's that guy's name that did Joker in the Suicide Squad? Oh, uh, Le- uh, Jared Leto. Yeah, Jared Leto. And I'm just I like, like eh. Jared Leto's interpretation. I'm just like, eh. I'm gonna go. Honestly, with, like, they should not. They should. You can't have Joker he's a, without he's Batman. He's a great actor. You can't have Batman without Joker. He's, we know that he's a method uh, actor. I think it's gonna be different. And I think it's gonna uh, be good. Man. I think it's gonna be great. I think it's gonna be uh, good. Yeah. better than Heath Ledger. Mm. No, I don't know about that yeah, one. Yeah, I think so. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't know about that one because, we'll see. Yeah, because I, I would say technically yes. this is gonna be like an origin. Yeah, yeah. So in some ways it in will that be better movie, because, he was yeah, in yeah. That'd movie. be cool to see like an origin kind of uh, part of it for a villain. Uh, he yeah. Ledger was just like in right. the middle of being the, the yeah. Joker and boom. So uh, no, I'm excited ready? for it. Yeah. I am gonna go check it out. When does it come out? Do you know? Uh, yeah, I'll pull it up right now. The pod comes out at the end of the year. I don't know. I, it looks. Uh, I don't trust Warner Brothers. Uh, Joker at all. comes out October fourth. Warner Brothers, another Sony. They just need to give away DC. Give it to Disney. <laughs> give everything to Disney. Yeah, give, 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 it, give it to the give Empire. Well, you know, they kind of did um, redeem themselves a little bit with Aquaman. I liked Aquaman. Aquaman wasn't bad. And, I give him that. Uh, Wonder Woman wasn't that. Bad. Oh, Amber Heard was a horrible actor. Uh, yeah, I don't like the actress. Oh my gosh, she is so hard. I think they put anybody else in there, it would have been a ten times better. better. Yeah, it would have been I, better. I actually, I have to agree with you. I hated her as an actress. <laughs> <laughs> like, That's why I'm like, uh, you're giving it too much props. I don't trust Warner Brothers uh, at all. Period. Um, I never will. They just fuck up DC over and over and over again. Lord. All right, but uh, why did you say that name? Oh my God. Stupid. Stupid. Oh, I was at the movie theater the like I literally got up ever. and I was like, "What the fuck is this trash?" And I left. It's his mom. It's his mom. <laughs> that was the worst. Oh, yeah. That was the worst. <laughs> Stupid ass. Anywho, go back. Well, I mean, they they have made some some good films. So hopefully. What can... good films? I'm still it's waiting. DC. Well, like I said, they they just DC. started. DC Suicide Squad was I. Aquaman was I. Actually I did like Sui- Suicide Squad. Wonder Woman Squad. was I. Wonder Woman was not great. Wonder Woman was great. I'm no, it sorry. wasn't. It was I. Oh, Wonder Woman was great. Wonder, Wonder, Wonder Woman was great. Wonder Woman was basic. Uh, compared to it was all these super other. Basic, bro. They hype them up just because she's a female. It wasn't all well, that. No, the movie was, it was better. I. No, it was all the other series. Catwoman. Catwoman was trash. Uh, with Halle Berry was oh, trash. Oh, that is way yeah. trash. Well, I'll agree every, that. every yeah. DC, every almost every DC, I except for the ones with Christian movie. Bell, which actually were pretty decent, like except for last one. Um, uh, um okay. Anyways, that's been our <laughs> show. Wait, also, for this. The Watchmen, didn't they? Don't they? The, the Watchmen, Watchmen movie, they killed it too. They destroyed it. It did not no. even go that way. It could have no, been better. That one it was good. It was. I liked the blue penis. Everybody now knows where Watchmen is because of that movie. I've never seen that movie, so. Uh, anyways, that's been our show. Thank you guys for watching. Like, subscribe. Peace. Like, tell We're us on. what you guys think. Is JP, how wrong is he? We're on a scale from 1 to 10. We We're, all across the country. We're on Anchor, iTunes, Spotify, Twitter, Insta. Uh, what up? Facebook. Facebook. Uh, Apple Podcasts. Uh, well, I already said Apple Spotify. Podcasts. Oh, I already said uh, yeah, that, yeah. too. We're on everything, and guys. Your mom. <laughs> <laughs> all right, guys. Peace. Peace. Okay, bye.